The Science Foundation College in Namavu Kure Jinja Ngo ingira kilomite mu Somero lia dene boarding Eri haba wala naba lenzi Ku olevo tusomisa arts ni sciences Ate erevo tusomisa sciences zoka Omwana mretu ku The Science Foundation College Fetu singo kusomisa sciences Okumanya visinga o Kwa ku 0 musambu 5 satu Chinana Abiri musambu 0 muenda The Science Foundation College Best on sciences And best for sciences is a teacher at the Science Foundation College, the best school that teaches sciences. At A level, we teach sciences only. At O level, we teach arts and sciences. Today, we are going to study structures of solids. Solid structures are classified based on the type of bonds that binds atoms in the solids. These are Molecular solids, covalent or atomic solids, ionic solids, and metallic solids. Molecular solids consist of discrete, discrete or simple molecules. Consist of consists of discrete or simple molecules added together by weak forces. For example, in iodine, carbon dioxide, and oxygen, these have low boiling and melting points. They don't conduct electricity. Covalent or atomic solids. This consists of atoms joined by covalent bonds. For example, silicon and diamond. In diamond, each atom is a trihedral bond to four carbon atoms to form a three dimensional array of carbon atoms. So each carbon here is bonded to four carbon atoms by a single covalent bond. As a result, diamond has got a very high melting point of 350 degrees, and covalent or atomic solids don't conduct electricity in any form. Three ionic solids, this consists of infinite array of positive and negative ions, for example, sodium chloride. They don't conduct electricity in a solid form, but they conduct electricity in a molten liquid, molten or liquid, and in a solid solid form. They are called electrolytes. Electrolytes are ionic substances that conduct electricity in a molten or solution form. Structure of sodium chloride crystal. In sodium chloride, each sodium ion is surrounded by six chloride ions. And each chloride ion is surrounded by six sodium ions. Therefore, the coordination number of both sodium and chloride ions in Sodium chloride is six. So the coordination number of sodium ion is six. The coordination number of chloride ion is six. So the number of ions surrounding an opposite ion is called the coordination number. For metallic solids, metal atoms are bonded by metallic bonds. The metallic bond each atom releases its valence electron in an electron pool. It is the electron pool that binds metal ions together in a metallic bond. For example, each atom will release the electron in the metallic pool, it becomes positively charged. Then the electron pool will bind the positive ions together in a metallic bond. Metals conduct electricity in molten and solid form. They have moderate 
melting points. We looked at the strength of metallic bonds and we said that it depends on the number of electrons each atom releases to form the metallic bond. Group two electron element, group two elements which release two electrons will form stronger metallic bonds than a group one element which release one electron each. Consequently, the melting points in group two are higher than those one of group one and also group two elements are stronger than group one elements. Then the second we say that electronegativity, the higher the electronegativity of the metal atom, the stronger the metallic bond due, due to stronger attraction to the electron pool. That's why generally the melting points of elements in a group decrease down the group. Lithium has got a higher melting point than sodium, than potassium, and so on. So thank you very much. If you are asked to give the type of solids, identify them by the bonds that keep the atoms together. They can be molecular, covalent, ionic, or metallic. Or metallic. Coval Molecular solids have got low melting points and boiling points. They don't conduct electricity in any form. Covalent solids are bonded by, each atom is bonded to another by a single covalent bond. They have high melting points, very high melting points, such diamond. For example, diamond has got 3,500 degrees. For example, the melting point of diamond is 350, is 3,500 degrees, is 3,500 degrees. They don't conduct electricity in any form. We have ionic solids. Ionic solids are bonded by electro electrostatic forces between the positive and negative ions. They have got high melting points. They conduct electricity only in a molten or solution form. Then last year we had the metals. Metals are bonded by metallic bonds. They have moderately high melting points. They conduct electricity in the solid and molten form by mobile electronics.